toddy, una toddy. super bebida que alimenta. There's two kind of people in Venezuela, those who love ping pong and those who love bolero. Se parece como un pasta de dientes. What's up everybody? Welcome to a brand new video. Now this one is super exciting because I'm with Gladys. She's from Venezuela and she just brought me a care package here in Mexico and I'm really excited. So what are all these items that I have right in front of me? Chucherias. Chucherias. <laughs> what does chucheria mean? We call them chucherias, um, the snacks or golosinas. Okay, so snacks Candy. are called chucherias. Yeah. Okay. The candies. We call the candies chucherias. Awesome. So these right here are Venezuelan snacks and candies. Now, I'm really excited because I've actually never tried any of these items here on the table before. You guys have so many different snacks that I've never seen before. Yes, and I brought you a lot of chocolates because we have a few ones. A lot of chocolate in Venezuela. <laughs> yeah. Which one of these are your favorite so far before we start? This one, Samba the de Fresa. Samba. Okay. Strawberry samba. So should we try that one first or should we save that one for the, for the end? I don't know. What do you want? <laughs> you, you are the owner of this channel, so... Okay. I don't know which time. one we're going to start with. We're probably... You know what? Let's save the best for last. Let's do that. <laughs> we'll go ahead and just put this one to the side. Now, I do want to go ahead and throw this out there that this video is going to be done in Spanglish because <laughs> she speaks Spanish first and I speak English, but I feel like a lot of these things are going to be more relatable if I say in Spanish. So let's just get started. I think I actually want to start with this one just because I like the way it comes in a nice little jar. <laughs> Con pirulín. Pirulín. This is how you say yeah, it. Pirulín. We have pirulín in lime, which is this flavor. Also, we have coconut pirulín. Really? And this one, which is the classic. With, um, Hazel. Hazelnuts. Yeah. So this is one that pretty much everyone can agree tastes amazing. Yes, of course. And this is a brand new peeling flavor. A new flavor. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Something something new, trendy. Let's try it. How long has this been around for in Venezuela? You would say pirulín. A long time? This forever. Forever. I don't remember. <laughs> Desde que nací. Really? Since I was born. Okay, so yeah. as far as you can remember, you've had pirulín your whole life. Here, it's a, a, aquí lo dice, more than 30 years. More than 30 years, wow. Interesting. Okay, so let's dive on into this. Now, first off, I do like the presentation. It comes in a nice little can, nice little botecito. <laughs> And this one is lime flavor, so there are all kinds of different limes popping up everywhere. I'm excited for this one. Let's just go ahead and both try this one then, since you haven't tried it before. Wow, they look cute. They look like almost like small little wafers. Mm. It's weird. It's weird. It's very, very sweet. It tastes like a key lime pie. Mm -hmm inside of a cookie or a cracker. I don't know. Are you a fan? Do you like it? I'm a fan of this one. The original peel. Yeah. Okay, so let's, go, let's try the original. That way I can compare it to this lime. This lime, it's not bad. It's really, really good, but I think the lime is just a little too overpowering for me. Pirulín, the signature pirulín is that they are like yay big and they're stuffed with hazelnut or any other kind of topping. That's so good. <laughs> that is so good. It tastes like Nutella inside of a wafer, but it's absolutely perfect. It's such a good combination. That's way better than Nutella. <laughs> okay. It is, it is. And when you start eating give it that. one, you can't stop. Because Nutella is, Nutella is a lot stronger of a hazelnut chocolatey flavor than this. This one right here is you know, a little bit more mild, but super, super delicious. Wait, there is this one, which is also pirulín. The same. This is also a new one. Oh, wow. Okay, this one's next level, guys. This is, this is some crazy right here that we got going on. This one is actually chocolate covered. Chocolate covered pirulín. Let's try it. Yes. That's bomb. That's so good. That's really, really good. My mouth is a bit dry. 
So, I do want to try this. Can you tell the people exactly what I have inside my cup? She just got done making this in the blender for me. She wouldn't let me really see what she was doing because she wanted me to be completely surprised. But this is this stuff right here that comes in the red jar called Toddy. Toddy, una super bebida que alimenta. Toddy. And it says down here that it is a alimento a, a chocolate. Fortificado. Fortificado. So kind of like a chocolate milk. But different. Te va a hacer sacar muscles. <laughs> no, man. You heard? Te va a hacer sacar estos. <laughs> <laughs> Should I try this now? Yes, of course. Toddy is so, so, so delicious. I love Toddy. It doesn't taste like chocolate milk. No. It's way different, but See? it's super good. Yeah, I don't know what it tastes like, to be honest. What kind of taste? It tastes chocolatey. But not like chocolate milk that I'm used to. It tastes, I don't know, I would compare it more to a, like a chocolate smoothie. Yeah. I would say be. like a chocolate smoothie, I would compare it more to. Now you did add ice in here as well. So that could be why I have like that chocolate smoothie texture in my mouth. But man, delicious. I'm for sure gonna drink this whole glass. <laughs> and this whole jar while I'm here in Mexico. Toddy. Toddy? Toddy. I approve it's of it. It's the same with pirulín. Once you start, you can't stop. Until, you can't. Until, until you drink the whole toddy. The whole cup. <laughs> the whole cup. To be honest, if I wasn't filming this, I probably would have just like... <laughs> drank the whole thing, but... I am going to... Pretend that I wouldn't do that. <laughs> and just set that there. The next one I want to try is because right when I moved this, I got a glance at is this. Ah, Nusita. Yeah, this looks yeah. very weird. I've never seen a candy that looks, this looks almost like, se, me, se parece como un pasta de dientes. <laughs> like, it looks like a toothpaste. Yeah, that's my toothpaste. <laughs> Nusita? <laughs> Every night. And what exactly is Nusita? Mira, Nusita is a uh, do double flavored chocolate. Okay. You have white chocolate and dark chocolate. And it comes in this, in tube, or like this. Okay. Okay. So should I just try this one first? Yeah. How would you do it? Just squeeze it? You just yes. squeeze it in your mouth? Yes. <laughs> All right, let's do that. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it? But okay, I'm I do like it, but no creo que lo puedo comer así. We eat like with a like cookie this. or something? Look, no, we eat nosita like this. <laughs> what? <laughs> así se hace. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's really, really cool. And when you finish with this, um, you have to open it. So once you squeeze it all the way out, yeah, 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 yeah. you still turn it around, cut yes, it open. Of course. And, Everyone. And make sure you don't do leave that. anything in there. Yes. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and try this while you keep going to town on that. Mm -hmm. I think it has a different taste coming out of the tube. How about let me help you? Try. <laughs> Here, let me give you some. I don't know, you tell me. Or no, they're both delicious. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah they're, they're, they're both delicious, super good, but I don't know, I think it does, definitely does taste different. Lo que pasa I like es que this aquí one. Están it's all starting to make sense now, guys. Making sure you get every little piece out of there. Estás viendo la técnica. <laughs> now this right here, esto también se mira como, like a lotion or something. <laughs> like choco choco. That's the lotion. Pasta on table, base de cacao. For my skin. No wonder you smell like, <laughs> you smell like chocolate. <laughs> Of so course, this here is choco choco. choco choco. First we got one that looked like toothpaste. Now we got one that looks like a little bottle of sunscreen. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Crazy stuff, but um, I'm gonna do exactly how I did the last one and just kind of. Ay Dios, así no se come eso. <laughs> ¿Cómo se come? Así. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I want to show the people exactly how it comes out. Yo, that is so good. That's very dangerous, guys. This is. Esto se llama. Choco, Diab choco. Diabetes en un botella. <laughs> <laughs> no se puede comer okay. esto. 
Let me try it because I don't know. That really is this so, one. so sweet. This is the classic Savoy chocolate. Okay, this okay. is from this company, Savoy. Savoy. Okay. Um, Probably. Okay. Try it. Now it says up front, it's just milk chocolate. Yeah, it's just milk chocolate. No nuts Nothing in there? Else. Nothing yeah. else? It came in little squares, see? With letters. With o letters who que forman Savoy. Oh, yeah. The word Savoy, yeah. Wow, that's so super in cool. This way you can share a little square with, if someone asks you, hey, give me some chocolate, one little square. <laughs> That's, That's all you it. get. That's all you get. Yes. This is delicious. Do you like it? Yeah, it's so good. But this is como la línea premium de Savoy. Oh, okay. This like is the, the premium Fuji line. Chocolates from Savoy. This one right here, the Kare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kare. Oh, so this, this you could all, only certain people could eat this one. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, without getting looked at wrong, huh? Y nosotros yeah. somos unas de esas personas. <laughs> <laughs> Por eso los traje. We're the bougie ones. So. <laughs> Yeah, let's try the bougie one. Let's compare okay. the bougie one to the non-bougie one. Oh, that's unfair. Now this one here, it does kind of look like the other Savoy except a lot thicker and it says the, the word Savoy on there. And this one also has nuts inside, so. Wow. Okay, definitely a way better quality of chocolate. The nuts in there, absolutely perfect. To be honest, it tastes like a, yo, it tastes like a Snicker without the caramel. No joke, it tastes really, really good. This one right here, I could probably see myself eating quite often. It's really mellow too, not overly sweet, over, overly powering. The Gares, I definitely approve of. We're gonna dive on into these little beautiful red things right Ding here. Up. Ping pongs. Yeah. Okay, you just got really happy after that. So, are these incredible or what? Yeah, those are incredible. But we have ping pong and bolero. Yo no te traje bolero because no lo conseguí. Okay. <laughs> Pero there's two kind of people in Venezuela: those who love ping pong and those who love bolero. I'm bolero team. You're on the team bolero. Yeah. Okay. Pero ping pong también es, it's super super good. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Just a small little peanut cover with chocolate. Bueno. It's really, really good. Bueno, es el dolor de estómago que vamos a tener después de hacer este video. <laughs> Eso sí. That's very true. The stomach ache we're gonna have after this is gonna be pretty real, but these are good. They have, don't get mad at me if you're Venezuelan and watching this. Kind of tastes like an M&M. &M. Could be, yeah. Like a little M&M. &M. But honestly, I like it a bit better because the M&M &M has a real, a thicker layer of chocolate around. These ones here are really, really thin and you get much more of a nut inside. Which is very, very popular. Not, a, not only in Venezuela, but around the world. This one? Yeah, Toronto. Toronto? I've never heard of it. No? No. But I like the presentation. It came in a box full of with those. So, you can't just go into the store and buy one of these? No. It's gonna come always in a package. Yeah. Okay, so first up, man, you know what it reminds me of? And I haven't seen these candies in a long, long time. It reminds me of a Whopper. <coughs> that is Get bomb. That. It's That's bomb. Smoke. And there's a big hazelnut in the middle. Yeah. That's what I really, really like about this one here. Now, I want to dive on into this thing because this looks interesting. This, is this like a bag of chips? Flips. Flips. It's not uh, cereal. We have two more flavors. This is chocolate, but we have mm, dulce de leche. What? And we have strawberry. And there's also two teams. Aquellos que se comen el flip así. Dry. Dry or with milk. Hmm. Let me see what team I've been on. I love flip. Wow, yeah, They're those so are good. good. They're so good like this. But I totally see the, the milk, the milk coming on in. Like this in a big bowl of milk. Mm -hmm. Incredible. So I think I'm gonna go with the cri cri first. Then. Okay. So I, you know why I'm gonna go with the cri cri? Because I like the way it sounds. Cri cri. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and cri -cri try this. Cri cri with Rice. With rice? See. Si. Mm. 
I can definitely taste the rice. Like the texture. The texture of it. Not my uh, favorite chocolate so far that we've had, but it's definitely not horrible. I could eat this quite often. It's just not, if I'm gonna walk into a store, I'm gonna tell you guys right now what I'm picking up. I'm gonna pick up the ping pongs and I'm gonna pick up one of the bougie ones Carre. because. Try, try this. I'm gonna be picking up one of these, all right? <laughs> that is so, so good. Try palitos. Palitos, okay. That sounds, that sounds really cool actually. <laughs> palitos. Palito. Con chocolate, de chocolate. Hay un montón de palitos lovers por todo el mundo. Esa no soy yo. You're not, one, you're not a lover of these. No. I like the way they look though. <laughs> <laughs> There's nice, small, chocolate covered cookie. What? <laughs> I love the palitos. Yo, it's these are good. Young. Okay, for left, we have Susie and Coco Sete. They're similar. Um, it's also, there's also Coco Sete team and Susie team. Okay, and which team are you? Susie. Oh. Pero I love Coco Sete también. <laughs> <laughs> I love Coco Sete or Susie with um, coffee, hot coffee with milk. Next Lo level. Remoja. You soak it in, dip it in. Yeah. Okay. So, this is what this looks like, guys. ¿Te gustó? Bomb! <laughs> <laughs> she knows me too well. It's bomb! This is bomb, dude. This is so good. But like she said... With hot coffee. It needs to be dipped in something yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Let's jump into the Coco Sete. Mira, Coco Sete. ¿Qué dice aquí? Cometelo a besos. <laughs> wow. Good. This is bomb. Yeah, you can't resist neither. Look, she knows how good these are. This is so <laughs> good, guys. Literally. Okay, I personally, Coco Sete, Susie. Ah, traidor. I'm just saying, we've made it down to the final two. The Samba Fresa and the Samba Chocolate. Yeah. And this one's your favorite? I see. Whatever and ever. <laughs> Which one's the original now? It's Which my one's... baby. I don't know. <laughs> There's no original. They, they're both... Yeah. Which, they've been around for as long as you Forever. remember. And there's also hazelnut samba. Wow. <laughs> All right, going in for the chocolate samba. This is my favorite one so far. Instantly. I love the texture of it inside. It's just like... Almost it, like the Susie, it has, if you covered it with chocolate, yeah. the inside's a wafer, a wafer. Delicious though, this is extremely good. Chocolate covered wafer, you really couldn't go wrong with that. I wish you guys could smell this, it smells so, so good. Strawberry Samba. Well, it's super, super rico. And it's super pink on the inside, nice. Really good. I like it. Actually, we're too much alike, man. <laughs> ¿Te gustó? More than the chocolate one now, this one's my favorite. This oh, one's my new favorite. But I think I just like samba. I think I like samba. I could eat this one or the chocolate one, and I definitely want to try the hazelnut one. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, Gladys. Thank you so much for bringing me all these snacks all the way from Venezuela which is crazy to think about. You know, usually, I'm pretty sure I could find, I could have found some of this stuff in the US at a Venezuelan store, yeah, but it wouldn't have been the same, okay? All of this stuff was brought to me by Gladys. She took care of it, made sure none of it got smashed the whole way, and I'm forever grateful. Thank you so much. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, go say hi to Gladys for me, and I'll see you guys in a few days for another video from here in Mexico. You are always smarter.